Hello everybody, welcome to Unity Time Broadcasting. I'm the host of this program, as you well know. Yours truly, Mr. Unity. There is a lot going on, as I'm sure you are well aware of. I've been keeping you, for the most part, fairly well informed. This is my mom and dad's property, which I, as far as I am aware, at this point, am still in line to inherit after, well, <laughs> an incident that took place, oh, sometime last year, we we'll put it that way, almost a year ago, I think, well, no, be a year ago in the fall, yeah, it's been some time, but we'll just say that was their decision, I didn't have anything to do with it. I agree with it, <laughs> for sure, but I didn't ask them to make that decision. They did that all on their own. I understand why, that's all I'm going to say, but I'm glad. It's a blessing. I don't feel that it will necessarily be a blessing to see them move on from here to the next realm of spirituality it will be for them I don't know about me but uh, doing everything that I can before that happens to ensure that they are as comfortable as they can be that being said I would have to suggest if you want an in-depth analysis on what's going on with US, China, Russia relations. Canadian Prepper goes into a very in-depth analysis about that. I would suggest listening to him. It's very in-depth. And you could be listening anywhere from half an hour to maybe an hour sometimes or longer, but like I said, it's an in-depth analysis. He has various guests from the government that he interviews as well as economists and people in the military and former military and what have you. So I would strongly recommend listening to him. Another channel that I would recommend is a couple of channels I would recommend actually is Economic Ninja and oh what's the other one I just look up the, the name of Lynette Zhang she has more than one channel but that one is the main one I listen to that has is affiliated with simply just her own name she is a markets analyst and she's a good one my personal advice to everybody is always the same gold if you can afford it buy it by the gram it's much less expensive than trying to buy it by the ounce definitely fractional silver from tenth to an ounce by one tenth one quarter one half and whole ounces because when the time comes you will need it for purchasing not everything is going to cost a whole ounce of silver or a gram of gold so that's why I say fractional. If you can afford fractional gold, that's great. Most people can't. I can't. I'm going to be lucky to be able to afford to buy, you know, maybe five grams of gold at a time. <laughs> if I've got time to save up enough money, maybe ten at a time. I definitely have bought a decent amount of fractional silver. I don't think anybody can necessarily ever really have enough with what's coming our way. But you get what you can. I mean, you'll be ahead of the majority of the country with any, really. I'm ahead of the majority of the country with what I have, and I know I am. Even though I don't have any gold, I'm still I'm way ahead of a lot of people with just the silver that I have acquired. Uh, again, pond with fish, chickens, turkeys, rabbits, 
goats, sheep, organic vegetable seed, organic grain seed, because you are going to need to have, be able to feed your critters and properly house them, make sure they're safe and comfortable. As always, these are my suggestions, and I feel like they're pretty good ones. If you can afford to get you some land, get it. If you have it, definitely put it to good use, please. Other than that, till next time, Mr. Unity saying, get out there and love people. Stop focusing on things that do not matter, like politics. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't. It, the, the chance that any of these people are actually still elected from the bottom of your city council to the president is so slim, in my opinion. I wouldn't even concern myself with it, really. I just wouldn't. And I don't. Where presidents are concerned, I don't concern myself with that. I've, if the votes count at all, the only places that I'm concerned with is the city I live in and the state or commonwealth, which Kentucky is a commonwealth. That's all I'm concerned with. I don't care about federal anything. I don't consider myself a citizen of this crumbling union. I consider myself a citizen of Kentucky. That's it. Nothing less than that. Nothing beyond that. I will fight to defend Kentucky. I will fight to defend my property and my family, but I'm not going to fight to defend a union that is as corrupt as the days are long and should not really, as far as I'm concerned, even still exist. And when you get down the truth of it, it really doesn't exist anymore. So why bother with it? Focus on your city and your state. That's my suggestion. And your local and state economy. I would not concern myself, if I were you, with anything on a national level. I just wouldn't. National level for me is Kentucky. The rest is up to you what you want to do, how you want to feel, what you believe about it. But that's where I am. So after saying all that, we're all in this together, folks. We're all in this together. When this shit starts flying off the fan on everybody, we're going to have to look out for each other because if we don't, we ain't gonna make it. It's just the way it is. Learn some Spanish. I'm telling you, it's a good idea. Learn some Spanish. Because likely, <laughs> no matter where you live in this country, you're probably in a situation where you come in contact with a more Spanish-speaking people than ever before. I know I do in my line of work. I have to speak some Spanish because if I don't, it's just too frustrating for me and them. So... There you go. There you have it. Till next time, Mr. Unity, signing out.